You can tell she thinks about what thought is bad at. You can tell she withholds herself from cantaloupe, as if frightened they will go extinct and take costs sunk in the skill of slicing them. Her approaching the fruit as though newly, wondering if it had a stone in it, or pith and segments, or acquired coring, or stank when punctured, or would show pleasing shapes in section. She switches grip, placing her palm over the fat edge of the blade. The rinds parted from the sixteenths are more or less a waste of flesh, according as thrift argued with intemperance. You can tell the impeding chunks will be publicly homely, not those of the cruise ship buffet where the night shift Neapolitan surpasses herself with flutes and scallops. You can tell by the way she sliced the cantaloupe. The way one slices a cantaloupe would tell a lot. She draws the knife along each inside edge to shave the pulp and seed matter, varying pressure, speed, and angle of attack like a deaf man bowing a cello. Stutters mark the inner faces. You can tell as she squeezes a lime half over the pile and steps back to admire her free-handed, benighted, by committee cantaloupe justice. She cannot be the children's hockey coach or run for office. The erratic hexes her. She circulates something fogged and twitching in her house. Not wishing you could not tell exactly, but wanting out. <laughs> 